जाति विधान से धर्मी See, Kala Bhairava karma is of one nature, Kala Bhairava shanti is of a different nature. If you're talking about people who have been long dead, long dead means dead for a f more than forty-eight days or ninety days, they're dead, or let's say more than nine months, they're dead. So they're long dead. One year, two year, ten years, not much difference. Beyond twelve years, beyond eleven and a half years, beyond four thousand three hundred and fifty-six days, there is a difference. Within that, uh, if a person died... See, the problem is this, that one must understand, socially here for us, death is death. How they died doesn't matter. The person is missing, that's all we know being here. But death is not the same thing for all, as life is not the same thing for all. So many millions of children are born every day. Do all of them play out the life the same way? Similarly, so many million people die every day, or hundreds of thousands of people die every day. And life does not play out the... S uh, death does not play out the same way, because death is just another dimension of life. Similarly, as life does not play out, the same way for every person, death does not play out the same way for every being, it all depends on how. So, shanti is done more as a kind of a... an effort. If any help is needed, we want to provide that for our ancestors, for our forefathers, or our grandfathers, our fathers, our mothers, or whoever. What is the help that we are trying to provide? What can we do? It is like this. I'm continuing to use this analogy for <laughs> quite some time, because I think that's the best analogy we have found yet. It's like a bubble. See, in my personal experience, when you leave the body, depending upon what level of evolution you are in, how thin or thick your casing is, accordingly, things happen. If something is... Let us say, your casing or your bubble is too thick, it cannot break. It will go to the river and bounce back. What is the river? River is a stream of energy, a kind of energy which is neither life nor death, but a completely different kind of energy, which uh, for lack of words, we can say a kind of a... a kind of energy which saves you, dissolves you, so it is called as Vaitarni in Indian tradition. Vaitarni means uh, it is a, a savior, one who is good at saving you. So what is the saving? It is not a physical river, it's a meta metaphorical expression, but there is a stream of energy. When disembodiment happens, naturally every being moves towards this river, some will bounce back, some will soak in it, some will easily cross it, some just dissolve right there. So if somebody crossed the river or somebody bounced back, these two people you can help. If they have bounced back or if they've still not crossed the river, let's not say bounce back, they've still not crossed the river, now you do Kala Bhairava Karma. Now, they might have, you don't know for sure, they might have crossed the river, but still because of the thickness of their shell and their own attitudes, they may be going through this in an unpleasant manner. You want to bring some pleasantness, you want to bring some shanti to them. So you want to shave off one layer of their nonsense, whatever, maybe some unpleasantness will go away, and pleasantness will happen. This is all the effort that you're making. If they're already pleasant, you still want to shave off one layer so that they will cease altogether. 
Pleasantness is also a bondage. As unpleasantness is a bondage, pleasantness is also a bondage. Unfortunately, with pleasantness, people take more time to realize that it's a bondage. With unpleasantness, very easily you realize it's a bondage. So, you're trying to bring some pleasantness, but for sure you don't know. Maybe your grandfather or whoever else has already dissolved, maybe there's nothing to do. You don't know, but you still do as a duty, so that in case he needs it, in case somebody else... See, this is once you do this work, this is not only individual, because there is a certain runana bandha which connects people. Suppose you do Kalabhairava Shanti for your grandfather, but he doesn't need it, he's already gone. Now, your grandfather's brother may be there, whom you don't care about, but he may benefit. I hope it's okay with you <laughs> because your grand-uncle benefited. Maybe you didn't like him, I don't know what's the situation, but he may get helped. So people connected with that kind of runanubandha may get helped. Somebody else who is not even your relative may get helped. So this has been kept as a culture that you must keep doing Kalabhaira Shanti. It doesn't matter whether your ancestors are hanging around there or not, we don't know. Maybe they've dissolved, maybe they've attained to mukti, maybe they're come back and reborn and again, it doesn't matter what, you keep doing it, so that all the related people will benefit from that. Pitru Paksha means... Pitru means doesn't just mean your father or your grandfather. Everybody who is the source of our existence is our Pitru. So you want that to happen. To all the people connected, it doesn't matter, we liked them, we didn't like them, we knew them, we did not know them, but all related people to whom we can do something, we do something.